Hello everyone, uh, today we've got a saw up, uh, we've got a alloy body airflow meter, yet the, the coil tower is coming to the front, like the later model one. Um, I actually found that this vehicle, I was expecting it to be sequential injection, it is a, it is a grouped injection vehicle. Uh, it's got the big super brakes, front and rear, so she's going to stop. Oh wait. Vacuum hose. I must have been playing. We're just going to have a bit of a look inside. We've got some race seats. Some paperwork that I've been doing on this job. There's quite a bit there. What we've got over here in the computer department. Factory computer. It's got the later motor plug. And I have made up an adapter to plug a, a link into it. I'm actually considering putting a Vipec I. 44 into this vehicle, which I'm discussing with the customer. ABS computer next door. We'll see if she's going to start, shall we? Vacuum line will be put through properly once we've finished. I've just been doing the day testing. So we'll go around the workshop. Right, annoying beeping noise. You can see it's uh, dash is lit up. Everything looking like it should. Let's give it a crank. Cranks into life, does a system check like it should. And it all works just like it should. No traction control lights up. Now, this one, customer requested uh, traction control to keep working. And um, still got the uh, on off button. But I've managed to make that work. And air conditioning. Had to make the aircon work. Um, this vehicle, as you'll see, is manual, so it's going to be interesting to see what it goes like once we get it on the dyno and run it up. I will be able to do a run with the factory computer and then do a run with the link. Uh, I've already driven the vehicle uh, to ensure that traction control does in fact work, and it does, just like it should. And uh, it's already smoother and better, so. Uh, in the next week or so, we'll be putting this on the dyno and we'll give you some results.